What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight we're going to be talking about the gameplay trailer for the Godzilla x Kong collab in Modern Warfare 3 plus an $80 weapon unlock. Definitely stay tuned. But before you jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, there's plenty of brand new content going up while we're on at Detonated.com for those that want additional coverage of multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies in the form of articles. Plus, we got plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. It's been a very busy week with the reveal of Season 3. We had the roadmap, the blog post, and I've been making dedicated videos breaking down everything top topic by topic and game mode by game mode. So I appreciate all your support on the recent videos. But earlier this morning, we ended up getting a Rebirth fly through trailer, giving us a nice glimpse of all the updated points of interest that we're going to be seeing on April the 3rd. I think we all pointed out the fact that one of the Perseus signs that we had in Rebirth Reinforced from Vanguard's life cycle, that took place in 2021. We noticed that in the new trailer, that sign has been ripped off and it was looking very faded, rusty, and our updated Rebirth in 2023 now has Coney taking over. So I guess it confirmed that Coney and Perseus aren't one and the same. They are, I guess, rivals, but I'm sure we'll learn more information about what is going on with our different factions in the upcoming season. But speaking of Rebirth, Zone 5 did open up for Operation Day Zero. That is the current in-game challenge event for Warzone Mobile. Zone 5 requires us to play on Rebirth Island. So all the event points we earn throughout Rebirth will obviously give you progress towards your individual rewards to unlock the Bloody Reaper exclusive skin, and will also progress the community to unlocking the Golden Phantom skin, which will work in every single call duty title i'm sure operation day zero will be over before the start of season three so let me know if you guys have made any progress in that wars mobile event down below in this video's comments but we are now able to claim the x12 golden flame blueprint which already works in mono warfare 3 and regular Warzone. let me know if you checked out this brand new golden reward down below in the comments i think it is a bit of a flaw and makes wars mobile feel a bit dated considering that the rewards are for mono warfare 2 weapons we have an m4 blueprint also coming out in the next day and a half or whatnot i'm sure the community will hit the milestone to unlock it it. it just sucks that it's not for weapons that are actually viable inside of Mono Warfare 3 multiplayer or current Warzone. I'm sure you guys get what I mean, but we then got a gameplay trailer today for the brand new Godzilla X-Kong New Empire crossover that we have here for MW3. The crossover itself is kicking off here to close out Season 2, and we obviously got the release of the Kong bundle, which we'll talk about in a second, but throughout Season 3, beginning on April 3rd and lasting until April 10th, there will be an in-game challenge event, and throughout that period of time, for the entire week, we should be seeing the release of the bundles you're seeing in side of this trailer. For some reason, they're still keeping Shimo a bit of a secret, even though the bundle itself is announced. I guess it's a spoiler for the film, since that character wasn't marketed at all for the movie's trailers. Now, I want to say the skins are better than the ones that we got in Vanguard. The finishing moves look cooler, the blueprints are nice, we have some tracers, and the Godzilla skin is indeed reactive. So, when you first equip the skin, you'll see a blue theme all around Godzilla himself, but then as you get kills throughout the match, you'll end up seeing the blue turn into pink, which fits perfectly with the lore of the current MonsterVerse movie. Movies. Now, as of today, following the launch of this trailer, we ended up getting the release of the King Kong bundle inside of Modern Warfare 3. It's unclear if the mechanic Kong look that the bundle offers is a spoiler for the movie. I doubt it. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to go see it this weekend, but it's a pretty cool looking pack. You got two blueprints featuring Beast Tracers. We have a finishing move. And yeah, it's funny how the finishing moves for all the Godzilla bundles have been leaked out for, I think, well over two months now. So we're finally seeing the release of this content that we've been talking about for a minute. But beginning on April 3rd at the start of our third season, we're going to be seeing an event called Battle for Hollow Earth. It is an XP focused event that we'll talk more about in a separate video once we learn more about the rewards. And the event itself is going to require us to just play any game mode of our choice. But by running any one of the four bundles that you guys just saw footage of, you will get a bonus towards progression of the event. Now, I'm going to guess we'll end up seeing an Operation Monarch themed universal camo or blueprint for finishing that event. But sadly, it's not going to be a challenge event where we can see the Titans facing off in a match of Warzone like we saw over on Caldera for Vanguard's life cycle. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to remind you about MitchCactus.com, where you can get assistance grinding camos, nukes, or schematics in MW3. These guys do not use unlock tools or any bannable methods and will actually help you play the game. Mitch Cactus is also supported by Trustpilot with over 10,000 verified reviews. You can use Go Dynamite for a limited time to save 5% off your order. Something crazy they got announced and was shown for a second in the trailer is an $80 melee weapon. I'm not kidding. So there is a new melee weapon coming on our Season 3 Battle Pass that is the Gladiator. And we're going to be seeing a skin for this weapon themed around Godzilla x Kong. This is the Beast Glove, right? You could see King Kong wearing it in the movie and a bunch of promo material, posters, trailers. Everybody has seen King Kong wearing this glove. It's actually going to be a melee weapon that you can bring into Call of Duty. But you have to buy all four Godzilla x Kong bundles, a part of the Titan Collection. 
So we're going to guess that each bundle costs around 2,400 COD points. I don't see any of them costing any less considering they all have the same amount of content. So that'll bring you up to around $80 in value depending on your currency. If you buy all four of the packs, you get the melee weapon. So yes, it is an $80 reward as a part of this crossover. It would have been amazing if there was an in-game challenge event that required you to just maybe play as one of the skins. And by doing the challenges while playing as a skin, you can work towards unlocking the melee weapon for free. That would have been phenomenal. I want to make something very clear. I'm not defending nor am I a fan of an $80 melee weapon or these big collection type offers, right? Because how far could they eventually push it? I mean, we've seen these offers a few times in Modern Warfare 3 where if you buy two bundles a part of a collection, you'll get a free blueprint or a free operator skin. I like the way they did it back during Modern Warfare 2 where for the raids, if you bought one bundle for let's say Gaz or Captain Price, then beat the raid that was focused on that character, you'd get a third skin for free. I was a fan of that because it only required you to buy one bundle, but having to buy four? That's crazy, and people out there are definitely going to be upset about this. I know I wish there could have been a different way we could have got this weapon, but that's just what it is, unfortunately. The bundle inflation is certainly real with Modern Warfare 3. Now, apart from just doing an in-game challenge event to let us unlock this weapon for free, I think if they want to go with the collection route, I'm scared that in the future we'll end up seeing something where it's like, oh, buy five or six bundles and get a free blueprint or a camo or whatever. I think another way they could have done it is maybe, okay, buy one of the four bundles, then do another task. The other task could be, oh, finish the Battle for Hollow Earth XP event, or even get 5, 10, 20 wins in Warzone while running a skin. Like, even something that sounds tedious is still better than having to pay $80, in my opinion, right? I know there was a pretty tedious reward that we saw during, I think it was the first Operation Monarch event for Vanguard, and then again with the Terminator crossover, where you had to get, I think it was 10 or 20 wins to unlock something. That was wild and challenging challenging for sure, but at least it was free. And I'm not saying that we should get anything that difficult, but I would rather see something like that than having to buy all four bundles for characters you might not be a fan of just to get your hands on a really cool looking melee weapon. I know people out there are going to be really upset about this, and I'll probably get called a shill in the comments, even though I've clearly said in this video there's a better way they could have approached a crossover weapon like this, but either way, that's just what we're dealing with here. Now here's a silly idea that I was thinking, right? If they're going to end up vaulting a Sheikah Island, which I think they probably have to at some point, because now there's too many maps in Warzone. It would have been cool if we got a Godzilla X Kong type event on a Sheikah, and then something happens, some type of destruction towards the end of the event that then forces us to leave the island, hence why they're going to end up vaulting it since we have Rebirth Island coming in just a couple of days from now. That would be a creative way to maybe get rid of a map, is not just say goodbye to it and then vault it for a year or two or longer, but have an in-game event that destroys the map itself. I know we kind of saw something like that with Verdansk, but you guys know what I mean. They could do something cool even with a crossover to help explain why we're we're exiting the map and going on to another one. I'm still curious though if we're going to see a big playlist rotation now with multiple resurgence maps. We're talking Ashika, Vandal, Fortunes, and Rebirth. I mean, let alone Urzikstan POIs. That's technically five total experiences for resurgence. Really curious how they're going to handle those rotations or if we'll go back to more of a traditional type of playlist for our Battle Royale and resurgence modes. Now, I want to end this video by mentioning that it would have been really cool if we got an event similar to Operation Monarch from Vanguard. I mean, something on that scale for Caldera, but for a map like Fortunes keep or rebirth i mean hell even urzikstan would have been awesome to see the titans fighting each other or working together or just walking around whatever the case may have been that would have been cool to see on the newer and updated warzone engine because if you guys aren't familiar caldera was still running on modern warfare 19 i mean warzone 1 altogether was really just stitched together with tape i mean there was a lot of elements of warzone 1 that were fun things that really worked out things that were engaging and exciting offered cool gameplay but imagine how much better everything could have ran during the warzone 1 era if that was all released in a separate application or how we have now with the new iteration of Warzone, things would have been so much better, would have looked a lot cleaner. I can't even imagine a big Titan event like that and how ambitious it could have been for the MW3 Warzone integration. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the brand new $80 melee weapon? I am not kidding. Unless the bundles do cost less than 2,400 COD points a piece, then you're probably going to be spending that much to get this weapon. Let me know if you plan on acquiring it. And also let me know your thoughts on the brand new gameplay trailer for the Godzilla X-Kong collab. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody.